Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serves Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the Board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. Something to report? As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Mm-hmm. Shot you into space. You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice Constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints, so unless you're carrying Wells's finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? As long as you're... Something to report? We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Mabel Burgess, age 37, right or left-handed? Let's just say, no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Here we are, Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all Marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people.
ever since the company first settled the Vale. Life's good out here, but it ain't easy. Some folk can't keep pace with the demands of frontier life. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Everybody likes Adrena Time. It is the finest medical drug ever developed by Spacer's Choice. Much better than that crap anti-Cleo pedals. Sure, a little too much Adrena Time can bring out the violent animal in you, but if overdosing on Adrena Time turns you into a lunatic, you have only yourself to blame. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena Time. What's on your mind? <laughs> 